Today I want to share with you our version of Tacos Al Pastor, a lovely marinated taco recipe that you might find down in Mexico City. We're going to thinly slice some pork, put it on a vertical spit, we're going to smoke it in the smoker, roast it with some fire, and put it on some tacos, and I'm going to tell you this is delicious. <laughs> Great Tacos Al Pastor comes from having a great marinade, and we start ours off by adding achiote paste to the mix, as well as some salt, pepper, paprika, some cumin, some guajillo chili powder, and some other spices that you can find out in the description below. This is a delicious recipe, and it's the blend of all of these spices that truly makes it unique. We're also going to add some chopped garlic, because garlic goes great in everything, especially marinades, and some rough chopped white onion. White onion is gonna give a fantastic flavor to this dish. We also have some standard white vinegar, and we're gonna to add to that some orange juice as well. Now today we're just using our magic bullet to incorporate all of this. Now the goal here is to create this so that you can get it all over this thinly sliced pork and let it sit overnight. And overnight is really the key here. You want all of the elements of this marinade to be able to really permeate the meat, make it tender and flavorful, and you won't regret it. Now we're gonna cut this pork in about a quarter inch strips. The whole idea is this is a really thin steak and we want this to be able to capture as much marinade on the outside as possible. What we're using today is a boneless pork butt that we picked up at our local Costco, and that's perfect for this dish. We don't have to go cut around a bone or anything. We're able to just cut this whole entire pork loin in small, thin steaks, and it works out just perfectly. So the idea here is just continue to cut and you might find some extra fat, just leave that on. Fat is flavor, that's okay. It'll cook off during the process and you won't have big giant hunks of fat in there. Now you'll notice what we're doing here is we're layering this, this bag. We're going ahead and putting in some pork, then putting in some marinade, and then we'll put in some more pork and some marinade and back and forth till you have the whole bag filled and enough marinade on top. Now, make sure you give it a nice massage, tell it it's been a good boy, and then tuck it in for the night in the refrigerator until tomorrow. We're gonna to start today with a whole pineapple. Now, this is one we just picked up at our local grocery store, and we're gonna go ahead and take the top off and discard it, because we don't need it for this recipe. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make sure we take all the exterior skin off of this pineapple because we want to expose the flesh to the smoke and the heat that we're going to be getting from the grill here in just a bit. Now we'll begin by taking the top off of the pineapple as well as the bottom. The top we're going to use as a top for our meat skewer and the bottom we're going to use as the base for our meat skewer. Now all of this pineapple that is left in the middle, we're going to go ahead and turn that into slices and these slices we're gonna grill for our grilled pineapple salsa. And if you're interested in that recipe, you can find it in the description below. Now for this tower, we're gonna to go ahead and start by taking a metal shish kebab skewer. And it's one that you'd use for kebabs on the grill. And we're just gonna take it and thread it through the bottom of the base of this pineapple. Now we're gonna go ahead and bash it through so that we go ahead and get that, the, the metal steak all the way through the base of the pineapple so that the metal isn't coming in contact with the pan that we're gonna be using to cook this in. And if you can't get it through, go ahead and just bang it on a cutting board. You should be able to get it through, no problem. Now, as we're looking at this, the pan that we're using is a cast iron pan, but with no handle so that it will guaranteed fit on our grill. And if you're interested in that, we'll be sure to put a link below in the description. Now with this meat, all we're doing is we're taking it and we're threading it onto the skewer to create a cylinder of meat. Now the whole idea is what you'd see in a taqueria usually would be a giant cylinder where they would have enough meat to be able to serve patrons for hours and hours on end. Uh, in this case, we're just trying to feed a family of four plus leftovers. So the idea here is we wanna thread that meat on and we'll trim off any of the outside that hangs over really far that interferes with us getting a cylinder shape. And then we'll continue to take that and put it back on top. Once we've had that and put that back on top, you can see that we're creating something that looks just like a cylinder. Then we'll end it by taking that top part of the pineapple and putting it on top. 
one of the goals here is that that pineapple is going to release its sugars and release its juices over the length of the cook and help keep the outside of this pork moist as it's cooking through. You're going to find that this is going to help it caramelize and taste delicious. It's a winner. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this and we're gonna put this on our smoker. Today, we are using a Grill Dome Kamado and this is the X2 version. And we're gonna put this pork right out there on the grill and we're gonna let it roll about 275 to 300 degrees on this Kamado. And we're gonna let it go for about three full hours. And here's where it all pays off. Three hours on the smoker, we have some gorgeous crispy edges. The pineapple has given up all of its love and we have a gorgeous spit of roasted pork. It is ready to go. And we even used a little bit of aluminum foil on the bottom to help prop up the pork tower in case it was gonna fall over. Now, even though we got the edges crispy, we wanna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of fire. And today we're gonna use the grill gun. The grill gun will add a little bit of fire to the outside of this meat and allow us to get more crispy edges than we could get on the smoker alone at such a low temperature. We move the tower of meat over to our pit barrel cooker, which is a little bit more friendly to massive open flame. The Kamado has some seals around the outside that are rather delicate when it comes to flames being shot directly on them. So we went ahead and moved it to our pit barrel cooker to make it easier for us to be able to make this process happen. Now, if you don't have a flamethrower, that's okay. Just turn your grill up to high or turn it up to higher in the 400, 450 range and you're good. Now, we just took a chef's knife and all we're doing is we're trimming off the very outside of this meat. And we're gonna go all the way around the vertical spit in order to get all of those pieces trimmed off. And what we're doing is we're getting those crispy bits for the tacos and they're gonna be delicious. Now you can continue this exact same process that we've been doing to get through all of the pork that's on this spit. The idea here is once you've carved off all of the crispy bits from the outside, you wanna take the spit back out to whatever you can use your flamethrower or your hot grill, and you wanna be able to continue to crisp the outside so you can continue to use that for tacos, and you can even have some fun with your camera person. She didn't know that there's another level on the grill gun that gives you intense flame, but man, it sure is cool. You take that and you add that to your tacos. It is going to be crispy and delicious. All right, so let's get some of this lovely pastor meat. I'm a big fan of the smoke ring that's on this. I think that's one of the things I'm probably most proud of. So pastor meat. We have our pineapple salsa. We'll put the recipe in the link below, in the, in the description below. But this pineapple just goes with this pastor. It's delicious. A little bit of white onion. This is some queso fresco. A little bit of cheese. I personally like to see a little bit of avocado in my taco. So we're just gonna get a couple of avocado slices. Put those right on top. And then last but not least, a little squeeze of a lime. Get that acid, the fresh, that acid freshness on top. And that, my friends, is our tacos al pastor. And <clears throat> at this point, all that's left is the moment of truth. Mmm. First thing I get is that lime right on top, followed by the smokiness of the pork. The smokiness of the pork is delicious. That, um, that marinade, the achiote paste, and all of those ingredients, that chili, the, the chili powder, I can get that right off the top. With a little bit of the cheese on top to make it nice and fresh. I gotta tell you guys, you can make tacos up a store at home. And uh, even if you don't have a flamethrower and you want to be able to take the tacos out pastor and be able to crisp it up on the outside, you can even take this and put it out on the grill at 450, 500, 550 degrees. 
you can get the same kind of charring on the outside without having to use the flamethrower. But I'm just going to tell you, playing with fire, it's fun. As long as you're safe, be safe, but always fun. But this recipe, this is a winner. This for us is dinner here. So I sure hope you try this recipe. It is incredibly, incredibly flavorful and uh, not that much work. Throw, throw a marinade together, marinate it overnight, then stick it out on the grill for a couple hours and you've got tacos al pastor. It's delicious, my friends. So I'm David from the Barbecue Lab. I want to say thank you for joining us and I look forward to seeing you next time. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't hit the like button, hit that like button. This is delicious. Take this recipe, try it at home. That's about it for now. I'm David. We'll see you next time.